everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can tell by the title, um, I'm going to be doing another collaboration video. This is probably my fifth one. And boy, what a treat I have for you today. Uh, this one is um, from um, a channel called Olive Oil. Um, and what we're going to be talking about actually is um, perhaps acknowledging mental health and I'll let her speak about this from her channel uh, when, I, when she comes on in the next one I introduce her and she's gone through quite a bit of mental health situations I could say one thing I want to know is that with these collaborations um, the reason why I do them is I feel it's a powerful way of spreading the message because for us for instance, I have not experienced mental health. I, I have, I do care for someone who's going for mental illness. And each time I do a collaboration, I feel like uh, I'm sharing something personal on my journey, especially with those who have gone through um, a difficult mental health journey. So without ado, you, I'm going to introduce Olive Oil from her channel. And what she's going to talk about is the types of mental health or mental illness problems, I think from anxiety. Hi guys, this is Olive Oil here. I recently changed my um, stuff on my video to talking about my uh, mental, mental illness. And yes, it is a mental illness, guys. I'm not playing it off like it isn't. But here's the thing. Um, wanted to do a com a collaboration video with Matthew from Caring Minds. But thank you for Matthew from Caring Minds for, for hearing my story and what I have to say. Um, first, I would like to say that having a mental illness is not a shame thing. You don't have to be um, afraid of it. You don't even have to be uh, scared to talk about it but also I would like to tell you five types of anxiety that someone might have and it might be passed down from family member to family member um, it might be that you um, it was caused by trauma who knows but the five types is generalized anxiety disorder obsession compulsive disorder which is OCD Panic disorder, post traumatic stress disorder, and social phobia or social anxiety disorder. I would like to keep note here, guys, that all these anxieties are a mental illness. But we don't have to be afraid of them. Well, that's quite educational. Um, I think it's always good to try and examine what mental health is, what mental illness is. It's very important to know perhaps what you're going through. Don't try and guess it. Speak to a professional. Go through those books if you're interested in mental illness. There's no shame in it. In fact, I would say the more you understand what mental illness is, the more likely you'll be able to cope with it. What we want to talk about now, I suppose, is the situation on, I suppose, myths regarding mental health. Now, there's, there's quite a few myths, to be honest, and one of the most common ones that Olive Oil from our channel will probably pick up on is, you know what people think about mental illness? They, they probably think that, look, you can just snap out of it. But this is not the case if certain types of depression. Obviously, we all get depressed from time to time. There's no doubt about that. But when it enters the stage of chronic depression, the tools you need to try and aid in your recovery of depression isn't so simple. So, what I want to do is let her explain her part about the myths of mental health. And the other reason and the reason why I wanted to do, wanted to do this to make awareness of um, 
any type of mental illness is because it needs to be mentioned. All of us that have it are afraid to even say anything because we may have people in our in the background that want to make fun of it and want to just say, well, you can overcome this by this and stop stressing. The major thing I hear is, well, if you stop stressing, your, your anxiety or depression will go away. No, wrong. Okay. Anybody who has this disorder cannot think and it'll go away. That's wrong. So, um, I'm going to pass this on to Matthew. As you can see, I agree with what she said 100%. Um, you just cannot just snap out of it. And, you know, people do still do think uh, mental illness is a bit of a joke. It's mainly because perhaps they just don't understand the seriousness of the situation. Um, mental illness can affect everyone. Um, it doesn't discriminate and it can strike at any moment. So, you know, I do hope that if you're not suffering from a mental health problem and you're watching this video, I hope that both our messages um, just get to yourself so that way you can pick this up and maybe just think twice before you have a conversation with someone who is actually going through a mental health issue. The last part of this video which I just going to explain is acknowledging mental health problems and I think this is one of the most important parts of this video. We shouldn't be afraid of our mental illness. Um, in some cases it can it, it can kill a person but never think that negative. A matter of fact if I could bring him up for a minute. Robin Williams had the same problem. <clears throat> He had a mental illness that took him over. And you never want a mental illness to take you over. Um, you want to fight the great battle, but you want to keep fighting. Because a mental illness is something you fight every day. It's something that we can all look at. That we can, uh, that we can picture in our minds. Mental illness is not visible. We cannot see this. Um, mental illness is in our family or in us. So, my best advice to people who have anxiety and depression or any mental illness is don't hide it. Let people know you have it. But don't ever be afraid of what they're going to say. So, I'm, I'm going to pass this on to Matthew from Caring Minds. And I hope he does a response video. Well, as you can see, it's a, it's a really sad situation of what happens if stigma is not acknowledged in some sense. And it's quite common, I'm afraid. I mean, we can't always just say um, that those who don't understand mental health problems can just be the only ones affected by stigma. Obviously, if you're suffering from mental health problem, you can also be affected by stigma yourself. And I'm not saying everyone is just, you know, ready to tell the world about their mental health problems, because they will face a difficult time. There'll be a lot of difficult acceptance if you're going through mental health problems. You you feel almost as if you're an alien in in a society that you would, you would think would it perhaps. Except you, not to say that things aren't changing. They are changing for the good, I do feel. Not everything, but I do feel things are changing. So, the last word on this is that it's important to, it's not easy, but it's important to acknowledge mental health situations. Um, be honest with others, especially with yourself. Don't cope by yourself, get help. Because I feel that you know, listen, if you're suffering from a mental problem and you're watching this, you are unique, you're special, you're loved. That's because people don't say this to you, don't think that this isn't the case. But anyway, I want to wrap this up and I look forward to doing another video. The next one's going to probably be on Care is Week, which is 
taking place, I suppose, next week, actually, over in the UK. But I'd like to thank uh, Olive Wall from her channel. Please check her channel out. And I look forward to doing another collaboration video in the future. So take care, everyone. Have a happy mental health journey.